Welcome to session four, and we're gonna delve this week into the crucial aspect of respecting authority and its impact on our families. Respecting authority goes way beyond just following rules and obeying commands. It's all about understanding and valuing the roles of authority figures in our lives. This includes parents and teachers and coaches and leaders, and obviously God himself. When we respect the authority, we show reverence for the guidance and protection they provide us. It's like building a sturdy foundation for our families to thrive on. Think of it as laying down bricks of trust and cooperation in, in our relationships. In Romans 13, one through five, we're reminded that all authority comes from God. By respecting those in authority, we're actually honoring God's design for order and harmony in our lives. But respect isn't just about following rules blindly. It's about recognizing the worth and dignity of each person, regardless of their position. It's about treating others with kindness and empathy and fairness. So when you break up in small groups, I want you guys to discuss and explore how you can model respect in your homes. Discuss how you can identify instances of disrespect and work on practical changes to become better examples of respect for your children. Remember, respect is a two-way street. By showing respect to others, we not only strengthen our relationships, but also set a positive example for our children to follow. Now here's the question for couples to dig into this week. Reflect on your interactions with authority figures and evaluate how you can demonstrate greater respect in those relationships, both for your benefit and your family and for your own personal growth. And if you're willing to dive in deeper, check out the bonus material before jumping into session five next week. Have a great one. God bless your family and God bless your marriage.